today we are diving into refrigeration, a system that consumes significant amounts of energy, with plenty of opportunities to reduce waste. With me today is Grigory Abramov, an expert in uh, industrial drive systems, uh, to explain why focusing only on the compressors is a mistake and how we can cut costs without replacing it. Gregory, businesses invest in new compressors, but still see sky high uh, energy bills. What is going wrong? Yeah, they are just looking at one piece of the puzzle. The refrigeration system is not just a compressor, it's the entire chain. Uh, if customers are focusing at just one piece, and forget the whole system, they become frustrated very fast because they are not getting the results they expect. There's also a huge resistance to making any change at all in such business. Uh, don't change what's working. This is a common mindset, but what's working is actually costing you. Uh, you might expect that the new facility is economical from the very beginning, but sometimes even brand new state-of-the-art cooling systems waste a lot of energy when they work 24-7. We worked once with a Swiss grocery chain on their six megawatt cooling facility for the new bakery. And by installing IE4 high efficiency motors and ACS 880 variable speed drives, we were not only able to cut energy by usage by 25%, but actually decreased the annual uh, CO2 emission by 10,000 tons. So what's the real cost of not addressing these inefficiencies? Oh, it's massive. Uh, doing nothing is the worst thing you can do for your cooling and refrigeration plant. First is energy waste. If your compressors, pumps, motors run full speed all the time, you are throwing away around 30% of your energy bill. That's actually really a need for a full throttle. Uh, then it's a higher maintenance cost. Inefficient system put a lot of strain on other equipment in the system, so which lead to expensive repairs uh, later on. And of course, last but not least is lost productivity and uh, food waste. If your cooling and refrigeration system fails, you might need to throw away perfectly good products mm. just to that, due to that strict sanitary norms. Mm. Uh, and this is a huge challenge and a blow to sustainability effort. Unoptimized systems do not allow us to bring the uh, product to the consumer at the end of the day. That's a huge ripple effect, right? So if replacing the compressor isn't the full solution, what would be it? Uh, you need to look at the entire chain, but the quickest queen hands down is VSD-driven compressor. By installing a variable speed drive on your compressor, you can actually control the real-time demand. So you don't have any waste, waste energy, you have less mechanical stress, and this in turn leads to a longer equipment lifetime. And motors? Um, what's another piece, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we cannot live without motors. So ABB, IE4, and IE5 high-efficiency motors are designed to cut uh, operational losses even further and prolong the equipment lifetime. Uh, on top of that, if you opt for CNRM package, that's uh, synchronous reluctance motors paired mm -hmm. with uh, variable frequency drive, you can cut your uh, losses by another 10%, which in turn bring your uh, uh, payback time uh, to less than a year. Um, but here's something that many, many forget. It's a uh, refrigerant type and cooling profile matters too. Many change now to the natural coolant, and this, in fact, changed the load profile of the compressor. So your system uh, are not anymore as efficient as it used to be, for example. Same goes for load profile. So compressor which is designed for high load is not that efficient as a partial loads, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, and there's one hidden thing that I want to mention as well is about cooling uh, water flow. Poor cooling flow actually causes high condensing temperatures 
which rack efficiency. But not to worry, the good thing is, with a few smart adjustments to the system, one can really bring this to the optimization state and start saving energy and in turn saving money. Businesses are still hesitating though. What's really the bottom line? Uh, it's simple. First of all, doing nothing is the worst decision you can make. And if you start doing something, really don't focus only on compressor, focus on the entire chain. Optimize your pumps, fans, and the cooling water flow. This will bring your savings to another level, not only in the energy, but in the actual money. That says it all, right? Uh, energy efficiency is, isn't expensive. It's the energy waste that is expensive. So thank you very much, Grigory, for your insights. Thanks, Brit. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. We hope this episode provided you with fresh insights and practical ideas for your business in the food and beverage industry. For more episodes and resources, follow us on social media or visit our landing page.